even the colour of the logo is designed to be female friendly. <laughs> the so-called Islamic State is waging a highly sophisticated propaganda campaign aimed at recruiting women. 550 have heeded the call and travelled to Syria. Around 60 of them are believed to come from the UK. Evidence to some that IS is winning the propaganda war. We are fighting uh, uh, an ever-losing battle uh, with uh, extremist groups. Uh, one of the things that IS has been incredibly successful at has been using the internet and social networking spaces for their own uh, propaganda. Social media seems to have played a central role in recruiting the three girls from Bethnal Green. This Twitter account allegedly belongs to one of them, Shamima Begum. The only tweet from her account was last Monday, a day before she left for Turkey. She asks a British woman known to be with the Islamic State to get in touch. The account Um Laith, which means Mother of the Lion, allegedly belongs to Aksa Mahmud. She ran away from her Glasgow home in 2013 and is now believed to be in Syria. Her family were devastated. Today, they called her a disgrace. Their lawyer accused the security forces of failing to monitor the postings. The idea now that a young 15-year-old should make contact with AXA, who is regarded as a terrorist, a member of ISIS, yet no action is taken. The family of that young girl do not have the customary knock on the front door or the fact that these three girls managed to reach an airport. If the three girls reach Syria, they're likely to end up like this young woman from London. The gun is more for show than use. Filmed by Channel 4 News in 2013, her role was to support her husband, who was then fighting for one of the other Islamist groups. Alhamdulillah, I couldn't find anyone in UK that was, you know, willing to just sacrifice their life in this world for the life in the hereafter. It's not just fighting videos that prove such a draw. Blogs from those supposedly already in Syria provide advice. One says, I would like to advise you to bring at least one month's supplies of toiletries and ladies' needs stuff. Download some good books. It warns no hardcore topics and suggests pride and prejudice. What I think we've underestimated for a long time um, has been the pull factor, and that is this very, very sophisticated social media marketing machinery targeting women, specifically peer-to-peer -peer strategies that many social media marketing companies would be very envious of. To beat IS in the propaganda war, the authorities here need a much bigger online campaign to stop others following in the footsteps of the latest recruits.